choosing YouTube over the Facebook. Hmm. That's where I'm at. You know, it's so strange because, like I said in one of my other videos, I used to live on Facebook. Facebook was my life and my world. <laughs> I did everything on Facebook. I actually loved and enjoyed Facebook more than Twitter because Facebook, to me, was kind of more private. I mean, Twitter is, depending on how you set everything down, but set everything up and set it on private, but... I don't know. I love Facebook, but once again, you grow out of stuff, you burn out on stuff, and you try new things. But it's so weird because the change, changing in life, taking chances, trying out new things, taking risks, for some weird reason, I feel as if it's meant for me to be on YouTube and I don't know why I don't know why I don't know why if it's because I'm a writer and sometimes I'm I think faster than I'm able to write out stuff I'm in question I, I feel like the I feel like the universe is having me to literally be on YouTube for a reason with my thoughts like I said before because I when I think and it's creative thought or just even free thought a lot of times when I go to write it out I can't even keep up like with my hand it's like freehand writing I, I can't it's like the freestyle thoughts just come so quickly I can't even keep up with them so it's easier for me to just say it on camera. And it's interesting because I remember last summer I had said that I would never get on YouTube and make videos like this because it's so easy. <laughs> and here I am today doing the very thing I said I would not do. Why? Because it's easy. If you're thinking thoughts, it's just easy just to open up your mouth and say. I think writing takes more effort and more work because along with that is editing but then again I don't know because as I'm talking right now I know I need to pause that way I don't have to edit these videos because before I upload it I mean no after I see what I'm saying I just messed up after I upload them I don't edit them I leave them as is because to leave them as is to give them a more authentic human feel. I don't want to edit everything out. Sometimes you can edit stuff out. It no longer feels human. The connection is lost, basically. So, and me saying such and explaining such, for some weird, random reason, I feel as if I'm supposed to be, like I'm purposed to be on YouTube. And I say this because the other day I was at the grocery store, right? And my world has always been music and writing as well as sound, you know, audio or whatnot. As I stated before, that's what I went to university for, graduated for. But just lately I've been having these strong feelings like a gravitational pull to just start making videos and uploading them on YouTube. It's like I just, I feel this energetic pull and I don't know why. I'm not understanding why I'm supposed to be on here. And as I was, like I said, as I was at the grocery store, walking through the grocery store, I felt kind of like frustrated and not know why, but I didn't, I didn't really question that part. I just was wondering, okay, I'm feeling like I'm supposed to be on YouTube. And I've been doing a little bit of videos here and there, upload music. But am I actually doing it right? Like, you know how you, st you know what I'm saying, how you start something and then you start to question it. But not only that, you start to question the reason behind it. And if your intentions are good. And if it's really the universe having you do such or if it's just you randomly thinking you're supposed to just do that. 
So that's where I was at. When I was in the store, I was at that place of just overthinking and overanalyzing. And I just kept seeing YouTube in my head as I was thinking that, like, you're supposed to be on YouTube. YouTube is your new home. Facebook is fine. And yes, she used that to be in different groups. But you're no longer posting to your Facebook wall. That whole thing is dead. <laughs> it's overkill. You over you overdid it. To go back and do that again is to go back to your past of uh, old bad memories and old bad relationships. It's done and over with. Time to start something fresh and something new, something you haven't tried before. So as I was leaving out the store, I kind of had a satisfied feeling of saying, yeah, YouTube is my new home. But we'll, what in the end will come of this? Am I just documenting just to document? Could it lead to something more bigger? I have no interest really in getting paid to do no YouTube videos, no. And if I did, I probably would set up like a professional type of setting with the lighting and better camera and all that but that's not really the interest but I feel like I'm on here to serve some type of purpose I really do outside of me just documenting like I'm supposed to be here I'm supposed to live my life <laughs> via through YouTube and it's interesting because after when I started walking on the street to come back home I have a neighbor who always he likes to give stuff we actually met him at one of the other apartments we were living at and he gave he was basically our our uh, reference to move here from over there to here and so he's always asking me if I need this or he'll give me this or whatever and so as I got YouTube on my mind he pulls up into the apartment driveway, into the complex, and stops next to me, although a UPS truck is behind him trying to get past us. He said he didn't care. He was trying to talk to me. And so when I asked him what was going on, what's up, he said he'd been spending quality time with his son. And it's just crazy how he can't get his son off of YouTube. And so I went to question him, well, what does your son be doing on YouTube? And he was saying he's into gaming. He likes to like he likes to watch um various channels on here of gamers. You know, so he could <clears throat> try to up his strategy when he's playing PlayStation and all that. And I just thought that that was a coincidence. I thought that was a really interesting and strange coincidence. And I've heard people say there are no coincidences. But for me, I meet them every day. I meet Mr. and Mrs. Coincidence every single day, several times a day. I could be thinking something right now and walk up the street and then somebody says the same thing. Ten minutes later. Five minutes later. Two hours later. So, once again, I thought that was strange because him being who he is, a lot of times when I see him and his son... They're usually outside built and stuff. I would have never thought he would have said, oh, trying to get my son to get off of YouTube so we can spend quality time. I just thought that was just interesting. I was trying to figure out if that was a confirmation, like my confirmation. That's what some religious people call it. They call it confirmation. When you think something or you try to figure out this and then somebody come behind you and they speak the same thing, I was trying to see if that was confirmation. Because I can sense in my soul, it's my absolute reason to be on here. I feel it's meant to be on here, but why? Why am I meant to be on here? What I like about being on YouTube outside of making videos is, to me, not trying to bash Netflix. Because like I said, I was watching Netflix. Netflix earlier I don't watch cable all like that and when I do it's not all like often but it's like YouTube is a rival 
rival to Netflix and all the cable channels and networks and all that. I, I, I deeply feel that because for you to have real people creating real content on a platform such as YouTube is to hold people's attention. It keeps people wanting to come back because they feel like they can relate to those that they're watching. See, cable TV and Netflix, they don't really have that. You, a lot of times, because I'm in the realm of TV, a lot of times when you watch TV shows that are on Netflix or even films, movies, whatever, and whatever else on cable, people watch that type of stuff to be entertained, to disconnect, right? But it's not to make a connection because, you know, those are not real people. You know that they're actors and actresses. You can only relate so far is what I'm saying. If I'm watching a Hollywood movie and I'm an everyday person and say I'm in China, say I, I live in India, say, I don't know, say I'm in Africa. Say I'm just a, a everyday person in in a, some part of Europe. Or if I'm just a random person in Nevada, right? And I'm watching these shows on Netflix. I can't really make a complete connection. Unless, say, it's like a documentary. You know? Unless it's, it's something that was... I don't know came from a creator that used to be a, a independent film creator or something like for me personally that's the only way i can really make a connection but when i'm watching anything that's been mass produced by hollywood i can't really make a connection to that because see for me my attention goes to behind the scenes what all went into it and i focus less on the characters and sometimes I'll focus less on the story, unless it's say it's a, a, a Denzel Washington, right? Unless it's an Angelina Jolie or a Brad Pitt or somebody like that. Somebody that really can can handle their characters and play the whole role out for what it is, the whole story, and bring it to life. But even with them, I can't really connect with the story like that because I'm looking at who they are. So me being on YouTube on this platform, for me and I'm sure for many others, the reason why we live on here is because to have real people creating real content, real content is to feel a realer story. We feel that deep connection. Like yeah, some people do get on here and they embellish their stories or they lie. I can't really tell who's who when it comes to that type of thing. Sometimes you can. Especially when it's all extreme, extravagant. You're like, yeah, right. <laughs> like, what? How did it happen? Okay, yeah, right. But I don't really look for that type of thing. I look for how can I relate? How does my life relate to this person's story? So, yeah, once again, YouTube is a... Is, uh, and rivalry, I believe, with the cable networks and a Netflix. Like, outside, I really, yeah, I can't, I don't know. TV, it depends on what it's about. Because, not to bash anyone or anything like that, but Hollywood will be Hollywood. I got family in Hollywood. Okay, I've said that how many times? It's just the truth and the honesty. But those people are characters. They're playing a role. I don't always want to watch a character or a role. I want to hear something real. I want to hear something that I can feel. Okay? <laughs> that sounds kind of harsh. But it is what... I mean, it is what it is. You know? It just... It is what it is. And sometimes I, I often question in the future if YouTube will be of a higher status than, say, many of the cable networks 
and Netflix. Because, yeah, all is going digital and all has been digital and will continue on. But real people equals real meaning. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm on here. I tell my story. I'm trying to make a collection of videos. Something that I can look back and hold on to. You know, progress is everything. Watching your life from one day to the next is everything. But I, once again, repeating what I said in the opening, I'm in question of why the universe has me on here. Why the universe has you on here. Even marketing and advertising is everything. Content marketing. You know, even a, even telling your story on a place like YouTube is content marketing. You don't have to have products or anything like that. Because to tell a story out loud is to sell it. Even if you're selling it for free. It's being heard and others are able to hear you and witness you. And you are able to do the same. Which in the ends, in the end, ends up being an even exchange. If I tell my story and tell you what I'm about, I'm willing to watch you and hear your story and hear what you're about. That's an even exchange. So, yeah, maybe I won't question this one too much, but I think that's it. I don't know. I think I should have made a trailer or something. But I don't even know what I want to say in that. Maybe I'll do some spoken word. Rap, I don't do that type of stuff no more. I'm too old for that. <laughs> too old to be walking around with a microphone. Boom, 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 boom. That's, yeah, it's played out. Uh, So, I think I'm going to start right here. I think I'm going to end this one. And I'll continue to make some more. So, hope you're enjoying your night. It's 1.45 in the morning here. As always, do what you do, be what you be, live how you live, and give and give. Because to give is to receive, and in the end, all points to one in various directions, and that equals harmony. <laughs>